Now we go to the last part of this chapter, contractile proteins and muscle contraction. Right, now, if I want to lift up, I, I already told you, if I want to lift up this bottle, I have to contract this muscle to give the strength to lift it up. Is this muscle free or is this muscle connected to, to what? To the, to the bone, two sides. The muscle are connected to the bone through the tendon, right? So here you see there's a, a tendon here. Yeah, it's connect to this bone, and this is another tendon connect to this bone. So when I contract this muscle, I have a force to lift this up, right? If I want to put this down, what should I do? Is that because I relax the muscle or what? Yes or no? Our body, the brain can only control the muscle contraction, not the muscle relaxation. For example, if I want to lift up this bottle, this muscle is contracted. If I want to put this down, the other muscle is contracted. So I can put it down. This muscle is smaller because it doesn't need too much strength force. This muscle is larger because I use a lot of force to carry things, to walk. Okay? So in the bones of the legs, uh, the lamb, we call lamb, the legs and the hands, there are many muscles. The muscle that give higher force normally are larger and the other one smaller. So you cannot relax your muscle. The muscle is relaxed because the other one is contracted. And what are the proteins responsible for muscle contraction, myosin and actin? Which one a thick filament, thick and this one a thin filament. These are the two proteins responsible for muscle contraction. You have strength. You are stronger than the other people, mainly because of your muscle. And the proteins which are responsible for myosin and actin, okay, they are called myofibrillar. Myofibrillar protein. You have thin filament, you have thick filament, and this one between two Z lines, one sarcomere. And if you cut here, like somewhere here, you cut it, and then you will see like this. Okay, so you have thick and thin filament. What is the mechanism of muscle contraction? Uh, so we have here, you got a sliding filament hypothesis. Hypothesis means it's not totally proven, confirmed. This is hypothesis means theory. And then the two uh, kind of filament thick and thin will slide on each other to cause a muscle contraction. And then when the muscle is contracted, one sarcomere will have a length of about 2.1 micrometer. This is a length of one sarcomere when the muscle is contracted, 2.1 micrometer. What is the diameter of a myofibril? One micrometer. What is the diameter of one fiber? 60 to 100 micrometer, if you remember in the last slide. Okay, so this is too much into biology, so we don't need to care, but we know that there is a theory behind that the muscle can be contracted based on the sliding between filaments. And when the muscle is contracted, the sarcomere length is about 2.1 micrometer, and then you will see this in the exam, so you need to remember the number. And finally, we finish this chapter 2. These are the references. So... If you want to read more, you can go to your library and look for this book and then you can read.